It's time for postseason baseball. Garrison and Bishop Ryan meeting in the Region 6 semifinals. Lines with a golden opportunity to blow the game open, and they do just that. Carson Merck goes the other way to bring in a run. Then it is Nick Sanders with the big blast. He goes deep into the left field corner for a bases clearing double. The Troopers would get a chance to slow down the Lions with a bases loaded double play later in the inning. The Lions cruise 11 to 1. Velva lived to play another day with an 8 to nothing loser out win over the Mustangs. Region 7 Turney and Stanley DLB against Lewis and Clark Partial. Ryan Albertson first at bat for the Lakers down the first base line ahead of himself and out by Oren Malrood. Parker Benz Miller at bat and Logan Reinstad running, stealing second there again with Benz Miller. It's in play this time. Reinstead rounding third, and he's the first run of the game. 1-0 Lakers at that point, and they win it 4-3. Opening play-in round has Stanley against the Kenmare Bobels Burke Central Honkers. Kenmare at bat in the sixth. Luke Crosby sends this one high and into the wind. Catcher Camden Reap gets under it on the way back, and that's an out. Terry Lucy at bat for Kenmare. He'll miss this swing, but Reap able to pick off both Engvold leading a little bit too far off there. Stanley advances three to two. Game three in Stanley today as the home team takes on Renville County. Top of the first inning, Carter Rudin at bat. Catcher's gonna miss this one and two Stanley players are able to steal bases. Bottom of the first with no runs, Jalen Durr for Renville is going to send this one up in the air. Win strong once again, Reap making another play. Gannon Hall at bat then doesn't swing on this one and Corbin Hall stealing it second easily. The Muskrats would shut out Stanley. Kenmare BBC keeps going with an extra innings win over the Wildcats. In Region 5, Rugby and North Star won with the Bearcats no hitting the Hornets. Northern Lights will play another day after knocking out Botno. Ginger Savicole trying to pitch the MLS KB Mavericks to the West Region title game. She's cruising against Velva this time, swinging strikeout and another one right there. Look out now, two out rally for the Aggies. They score a run. Berkeley Selzler drives in Haley Fletchock, but the Mavericks are in the West title game four to three. MLS KB would await Beulah or the Lakers. DLBLC up a few and looking for more. Logan Eastos is running and slides in just before the tag. Lakers trying to rally with two outs. Miners can't make the play across the diamond. And Brindley Benno drives in Eastos. And what a play to put a stop to things, though. Addison Hughes standing in, flies this to deep left field. But Kayla Gierke dives back to make the catch. The Lakers collect their second 10-run win of the day. West Hope, Newburgh, Botano, and Hart River trying to stay alive in a loser out game. Sue getting what they need. Bases clearing RBI triple for Morgan Schweitzer. Then Kylie Simpson chops a tough hop to shortstop here for some more WNB runs. Simpson, she's on third now coming up and coming home after a Cougars wild pitch. The Sioux stay alive 15-4. Bishop Ryan and Wilton Wing trying to nail down the final spot in tomorrow's state qualifiers. Lions down a couple and Taryn Sherhammer rings them up with a high swinging strikeout. Oh, sorry, this is DLB and Buell. Let's quick let you know that the Miners would end the Lions season 15-11. In the WDA play-ins, Legacy left no doubt and Williston edged Watford City. Elsewhere, Williston and Bismarck High kept their baseball seasons alive. Now to the Williston invite, WDA Boys Golf, James Powers getting us going. He's on his home course today. But first, number one, par four, Dickinson's Jack Homiston lines the putt up, will tail left. That's a five for him on the hole. Powers a little too strong playing on his home course. Once again, six for him on this one. Mandan's Trey Hobine had a great year, takes his time battling the wind. It wouldn't quite go. He'd get a six on this one. Dickinson wins it. Minot finishes third, and the Midgets' Josh Hood medals at 79. Back to Stanley for the Region 6 championship at Prairie Rose. DLB's Lauren Keller there taking care of things with a two-putt. She's joined by Stanley's Kaiza Mortensen, 
making the short one there ahead to the Lakers Madison Rasko who makes no mistake a couple of close chips first from Stanley's Katie Hennessy and she gets to see Asha Valier from Tioga in her group too. She'd only need a one putt after landing it there. Lakers win the region with Stanley and MLS rounding out the top three Keller medals and Valier is the region six senior athlete of the year. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.